The Eisenhower High School Band is under new leadership this year. Joshua Branch is a recent graduate of Southwestern Oklahoma State. With a closer look at the fresh perspective Branch is hoping to bring, here's 7 News anchor Kyle Weatherly with our Band of the Week. I'm trying to get the uh, change the culture of the band and uh, promote excellence through the band. We might not always be perfect, we might not always uh, succeed in everything we do, but we will give our 100% best at all times. Joshua Branch has a vision for his new program. Step number one, master the fundamentals. That's one thing we've been working on consistently is just getting them the march, the fundamentals down, learning their sets, but overall, I mean, already, they already sounded amazing, so mainly they're marching. The hard part for me is not pushing them too fast to do that, but we've been slowing it down. Since our first show, we slowed it down, and then they got uh, the fundamentals under their belt. Every day they're getting better and better, and they're sounding great, and they're marching even better every single day. Freshmen account for a majority of the Ike Band. That makes for some growing pains now, but it also means a bright future lies ahead. Because once they have that down, next year when we grow, those older people who've been marching can teach the new uh, people how, and we can uh, actually march faster and we can put shows on faster uh, than we are right now. The focus remains on the present and this year's performance, a show that's equally captivating for the audience and the band itself. The original idea was to have fun songs that will engage the band and engage the audience. The first movement will be Paint It Black, the second movement will be Viva La Vida, and then third movement we just changed uh, will be Bad Guy from Billie Eilish. The music is very exciting and the drums, the drum breaking is also very exciting, so I think this show is just... With the exciting, kind of like eye catching. The Eisenhower Band has some time to fine tune the halftime show. Their next performance in front of the home crowd at Cameron Stadium will be October 4th. With your Band of the Week, I'm Kyle Weatherly.